here with the University of Louisville NCAA champions and the Turner Medley Relay. Uh, to start off, can you just each kind of take me through your splits and what was going through your minds as you dove in? Uh, yeah, I'll start. Um, <laughs> uh, just, just kind of with a lot of my backstroke races recently, I just felt like the tempo was too slow. So like I just like in warm up, I even did some spring drill and that was just kind of my mentality for the 50. Just spin my arms as fast as I can when I get up. I know my underwaters are going to be as fast as I can be. So just getting that tempo going and getting into the wall just for Soma. Yeah. Uh, meet wasn't really going my way, but this is really it. This is like a different story. So uh, I always like ready to put my best efforts for these guys. So that's what I did. <laughs> Yeah, it was my fifth race of the day, so mm. <laughs> I just had to put all that behind me and just give it everything I had. I mean, I was pretty confident going after Evgeny. I had the lead, um, and so I just wanted to get into the wall for Haridi to finish us off. Yeah, um, I think I have it too fast to remember anything about it, but, <laughs> but I had so much fun, and I think they all did, but yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, Louisville's first relay title in uh, program history you know, can, can you each say a little bit on what that means to you personally as a member of the Cardinals? Oh, uh, it definitely means a lot, like, just to do it with these guys over here. Like, I knew, like, even last year we had the pieces for, like, a really great relay, and just this year it all came together. Yeah, I think that's that's really awesome. It's it's always, like, a little bit harder to win the relay compared to just an individual event. So I think we did a great job, put all of our efforts together that was awesome yeah and you know we look at the national champions banners um <laughs> on our pool deck and uh there's no relay there so it's pretty exciting that we're going to be the first ones there and it means a lot and i said this in the post-race interview but i thought we had a pretty good chance yesterday too and uh today it just kind of shocked us all i think yeah, to Nick's point, like I, I think I didn't see it coming, but I didn't doubt it. It was, it was fun. I'll, I, I want to do it again next year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, for 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 swim fans, for members of the media, it's it's oftentimes it's very cut and dry. Oh, we think this team's going to win. I think this swimmer's going to win. Can you can you um, comment on the mentality as an athlete of like like you said? I didn't necessarily see it coming, but I didn't doubt it. Yeah. Um, like we, we saw everybody, we saw everybody was like, uh, look at, I don't know, either Texas, California, all that stuff. They're saying uh, they're going to win. They're going to do their everything. Uh, we are, uh, we, we came to have fun. We cared to came here to care about ourselves. We, we just went for it. It, it was about, about us. It was never about anybody else. So, yeah, and that's just kind of like our whole mentality the whole year is like we're never necessarily the top picks. Um, we're never really the favorites. Um, so we don't really pay attention to what other people are saying. We just do ourselves when we get up there on the blocks and uh, do it for each other. And, uh, you know, it's already been a historic season for, for you guys, um, winning your first ACC team title. Um, just, you know, uh, weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Um, I mean, coming off of that, how much of a high were you guys on and, and how do you get ready again to have what, what has been such a great meet for, for this group? I mean, it was a great meet. I think we finished it on a, on a Saturday. We, we took a Sunday off and uh, on a Monday we already was back on the, on the business. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, like when you're coming in for NCAAs, like even though we won the ACC meet, you still have like the big teams like Texas and Cal coming in, like knowing that they're like big names. So like you still have to go in and uh, work hard to. Yeah. And something we focus on too is like the mentality of next. So like after that meet, we we celebrated to put it in a box and then put it away and uh, focused on this meet. I don't think that was even like one of the fifth of what we can do. So <laughs> there's so much more. You guys haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I feel like that would, that would be a hard mentality to have, especially of, of, from a conference championship with, that you guys have never won before, you know, that's, that's the first time it, it was there. Was there anything in particular that helped you have that mentality of, all right, putting this to bed, moving on to the next thing. 
I think our coaching staff does a great job at that. I mean, it doesn't matter good or bad or ugly. Uh, they always say next. So even today, Hunter fly. Okay, good. Next Hunter back. Okay. Hunter back was okay. Next relay. And that's the same for all of us. Um, and I think our teammates, uh, back here just supporting us and the ones that are at home too, uh, is, was our motivation, I think. And just like kind of reevaluating the goals too, just like, yeah, we want ACCs, but now what can we do at NCAAs? Yeah. I, the, the ACC as a conference has, has come on so strong in the last couple of years. Was it motivating at all? Even seeing the women's meet, you know, um, the, the Louisville women did, did great ACC a historic one, two finish, um, for Virginia and NC state is, is seeing that just as kind of a conference, um, inspiring you guys at all. I would say, yeah, it does. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of such a competitive conference. Um, and just watching the women's meet last week, uh, I think it gave us a lot of confidence too. Um, and just, you know, we're, we're seeing NC State on deck and Virginia and we're giving fist bumps. Like we're kind of like a team almost here at this meet, uh, rooting for each other for our conference. So I think it's a special conference to be a part of for sure. And then, uh, you know, we talked about the mental side of it, the, the mindset of, all right, next, next, but I mean, Louisville is known for doing good at conference and doing better at NCAAs. You guys have a history, men and women, of really showing up, and you guys have obviously done that so far. What's the secret sauce? What, what are you guys doing in between conference and NCAAs in the water, outside of the water, that uh, gets you ready? Um, I think it's a, it's a conversation or like a speech Arthur gives daily. It's a meet of the third. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. people go there have just happy to have the t-shirt there are people who just do the same thing they do at conference and these four guys and the rest of the people here are the other third that just continues to get better just a little bit better at a time and uh we, we are home of nine years of continued uh national champions yeah, national yeah. Champions. nine years in a row <laughs> let's so, go as a continued streak yeah <laughs> yes yeah. Uh, I, I didn't, I did not realize that. So, so you're Louisville has had a national champion nine years in a row. Yep. Yes. With the exception of last year, cause it didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that's, that's fair. Um, so, so what's, what's the next thing? How are you guys feeling about tomorrow? I mean, yeah, obviously Great. tomorrow we have the, we got two back for me, uh, two back for, sorry, two fly for Nick and the hundred free for, for Rudy. Um, we're just, again, it's next. We just have to go in there and do our thing and make it back to finals. Well, yeah. awesome. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. Go cards. You've been listening to the swim swam podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. You can take Swim Swim Podcast on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.